Hello, Gemini. Crystal Rosy Comfy Soul here doing your reading. I want to uh, run with the unicorn, Crystal Unicorn Tarot. If you would um, like to purchase the deck, you can find it in the links in the description down below. Um, you want to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm at Comfy Soul. And let's get cracking here. What do we got coming for you? So I'm going to focus on New Moon Energy. Happy Pride Month to you. And uh, let's see what's coming for you, what you're doing now, and let's get focused on some additional advice from the Flower Therapy Deck from Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. Um, tongue-tied. Who's tongue-tied? Is that you? Because there's a truth coming, and is it you that has to give the truth? Uh, like, seriously, Gemini. Sup. Sup, sup, sup. Why are you tongue-tied, Gemini? All right, let me let me do a little bit of shuffling here because my, my unicorns got all jangled, just like my tongue. It's so weird. So weird. All right. Uh, Africa, Toto is on in the background. Hurry, boy. She's waiting there for you. It's going to take a lot to drag me away from you. Okay, so you're running back in the direction of someone, it looks like. And uh, now you're tongue-tied, I guess. Let's see what's going on. Let's look at you. Yeah? Okay, you're making an offer. A serious one. A legit offer to move, to uh, start a business, to move in together. This is someone who's serious. You're very serious now. This is very different for you, Gemini. Uh-huh. Did you find someone that you're passionately in love with? I see you uh, finding a little bit more of your feminine energy here. Willing to speak your truth, willing to share some passion. You're still juggling something, letting something go. What are you juggling here? What are you letting go of? What are you hanging on to? You seem confident, but you're still hanging on to something. So what, what are you handling here? Justice vibe. Oh, are you being cautious because you messed up and you need to go fix this with someone? That might be it. Let's see. <clears throat> I think that that might be the case. Yeah. Okay, so if you have delayed in coming to someone and you need to let somebody else go, now is that time. It's time to end the other relationship, quit messing around, because it's time to go get the new person. Time to start a new journey, new job, new adventure, move away. I see you moving away. Overseas, some of you. That seems to be important here. Yeah, you're going to get serious. You're getting serious. You're ready to be a real husband, father, wife, mother. This is a masculine type energy, taking control of the situation, getting ready to, to put the, um, the bullet in the chamber is what I'm hearing. Uh, and as I say that, the song that's on in the background is Danger Zone from Top Gun. So yeah, revving up your engine, listen to her howl and roar, metal under your, under tension, begging you to touch and go. Ride into the danger zone, heading into twilight, spreading out her wings tonight. Yeah, you're going into the danger zone. You're, so, you're waiting for someone to yell at you because you're coming back around. Let's see how this other person's feeling. They have given up on your ass <laughs> a long time ago. Um, if they haven't let go of you emotionally, it's... It's really got them frozen, like knocked down, depressed, in bed, because all they want to do is be married. They want to be married. They want to be with you. They want to be in a marriage situation. They're uh, thinking about giving back to you. Okay, so, so they're looking for reciprocity. They're waiting to see what their options are. In the meantime... They are healing. They are finding their own way of healing through playfulness, through getting back out into the sunshine again, 
through really honoring and looking at their feelings and honoring themselves and being open to being with somebody new and having someone else that they could think about marrying and being with because they really went through it with you. They're healing. They're healing really, really, really harshly despite their very hopeful thought process that they want to be in a relationship. But I think they've come to the conclusion that it's not with you because you're not showing up. So, uh, this could be roles reversed. You could be the one waiting for this person to show up and they need to make the move and let somebody else go. Um, but I really feel like this person's kind of closing the door. They're complete. They're whole. They're happy. They're healed. They're finally healed. So, if, you're, if you want to know if it's time to go talk to this person, it is. I can't promise you they're going to receive you, but they, they look like they want to because they've healed. They have options. So if you don't want them to go to somebody else, you better go get them right quick. Okay. Let's go to flower therapy real quick and gab you, grab you some gab. Uh, is there Gabby out there? <laughs> Gabby, Gabriella, this message is for you. Also, Gemini, are you a talker? Do you talk a lot? Do you... Are you going to be one of those people who's been kind of quiet and watching in the background? And then when you get this person, when you're together, you can't shut up. Oh my God. It's like you all of a sudden have everything in the world to say. Is, is that your personality? Is that what's going on? Okay, let's see. Simplify your life, the daisy. You've had too much going on. You're spread too thin. That's why you were juggling. Too thin. Too much going on. This has to change now so your vitality can recharge. So change your life. Change the draining job. Let go of the person that you're dating that you're not madly in love with. Just let go. Simplify everything. Get regrounded so you can think clearly and say what you need to say. Let's get a couple more advice cards. Uh, Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up, is on right now. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. All right, put your money where your mouth is then. Uh, I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Got to make you understand, no, never going to give you up. Well, they don't know that because you did give them up. You walked or you didn't commit in the first place. So let's get this party started, right? Um, yeah, stand by your commitment. You say you're committed. You know that's the one, but you never really got this off the ground. Go put your money where your mouth is and follow through, okay? Please. For real, though. Wise soul, Azalea. Your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. So there's something that you've learned about yourself. About your soul. About how you show up. About how you um, could be representing yourself in the world. That you want to share with this person. You know that this person is the best person to be the best version of yourself with. You finally are stepping into, and I'm being given a vision of somebody who walks to the front door. You know how people have a bench at the front door where they have like their work boots or muddy boots or some dirty stuff there? I see them going to the front door from inside the house. This is you. And I see a man putting boots on like heavy duty work boots and they're getting ready to go out the door. So this is a picture of someone who's seriously getting ready to step into those shoes and put in the work. I really, really hope that you follow through with this. All right. What else do we have? Let your inner beauty shine. Yeah. Once you get past the work part, you are a brilliant example of God's love. Everything about you is perfect. So let light shine and inspire others. Pink rose. There is a beauty in you that has not yet been unleashed, and it will be when you get with this person and express your emotions. So I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to ask you to share this beautiful, amazing energy with this person that you've been holding yourself back from. I get that you wanted to have a good time and go play, but you're not happy, and you'll be much, much happier when you get with this person and act a fool. Just go forward. Just stop trying to control everything. Just go have fun. Just be like, it can It can only get better, right? Yeah, it can. I encourage you. <laughs> All right, so if this reading resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me um, 
Tell me what it was that you were doing before that wasn't fun and exciting that you're going to do different now. I'm curious how you're changing in life. Um, if you want a personal reading, you can find me at ComfySoul.com. Link is also in the description below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day or night or wherever you're at. Shiny unicorn dreams to you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.